Alright, Lanta, so a couple days ago, we did showcase the brand new Bankai Mayuri, a very powerful character. And if you did watch that video, you would see this character is great to play as. He's great to be used in IT, epic raids, where he's currently a bonus right now. He's now the best option for the immediate Asparta guild quest, finally replacing someone like Fowers in your blood with Rukia. So his usability is up there. You can use this character wherever you want to, and it gets even better, because as you will see in today's video, is that we're bringing him into Arena. Why? Well, he's an Arena character. Now, keep in mind, this character already has a 40% Berserker with an additional 40% strong attack damage at full stamina, frenzy plus one, and also the spiritual pressure boost. That allows this character to hit very hard, but then when you take him into arena, especially if you do get him to arena rank 10, again, shout out to Absolute K for lending me the account today, what you will see here is that he does pick up the start power item plus two, essentially giving him extra 66% stats right from the get-go. Poise, and also Frenzy plus one. So Frenzy plus two, Spiritual Pressure Boost, and 80% Berserker, and also 40% more damage to enemies that are affected by status limit. Last month, we saw our first character with Frenzy plus three in Arena, that being Ichigo. And now we're seeing our first character with Frenzy plus two, and also the Spiritual Pressure Boost, now in Arena. And at the same time, every five seconds, he has a chance to inflict paralysis and also poison. There are a lot of enemies in Arena, so there's a good chance you're going to keep that Spiritual Pressure Boost. And if you aren't using someone that is immune to status limits, Mayuri is going to be a very annoying character to go against. So with that said, let's jump into some games and showcase him. Alright, so jumping into our first lobby, what we have here is actually... Uh, we don't have a good team. We are going against two Ichigos and Osan Uryu. That is bad. Now, what you will notice right from the get-go is that Mayuri, again, very easy time inflicting status, which is great. We're basically going to one-shot for the most part. And we're constantly inflicting paralysis here. That's going to help us out quite a bit. At least against the Uryus. And we have a Byaki on our team. What is this team? What we will notice is that despite being an arena character, for some reason he wasn't given long stride. A very weird choice. So Mayuri is a character that I think is going to be best performed when you're playing with a team of players that know what they're doing. Because right now, to kind of cover for my team, I'm flash stepping around the map quite a bit. Where instead I would actually rather just sit in a particular spot. And hold down my area. But we were actually able to win that particular challenge. That's great. Sobom defo help there. Going against the Ishigo though. We can see that yeah. We're just one shotting. We have plus four boost right now. Our teammates are dying. So they're severely not helping whatsoever. But it's fine. We're, again we're going to hold our own weight. Not every game you're going to go to teammates. And granted to be fair. They're using quite bad characters. Can't blame for dying. So I guess what I'm going to do here. Is try and stay in the middle of the map. So I can get in and out. And just one shot of our attacks. Lucky for us. We do have a pretty good kick. That we can snipe from afar. So for example we can go here. Use that SA1 or 2, and it actually just killed him all the way from there. That's great. And I guess when you... Oh, a little triple. But I guess when you play characters like this, all you're going to just come to here is Paralysis. So they're going to steal from us, but we can steal right back once I kill that Uryu. Okay, next kill. Oh, they're keeping us. They're keeping us. Okay, we did steal, but unfortunately, they're going to steal right back. Very close. You know, it wasn't that close, to be fair. We almost had a steal last second. If we did that, we would have won. I'm going to keep it in because I still want to just demonstrate that sometimes you're going to lose games, right? Not every game, especially when you play by yourself, you are going to win. But we were able to put in the work, right? Mayuri, despite him not having long strides, he was still able to do some respectable stuff there. For the most part, we were one-shotting every character we were going against. That's a given. I mean, we have Frenzy Plus 2 and the Spiritual Pressure Boost. The paralysis, at least in the early, was helping our team stay alive a bit. And you can see that the big difference here. We had 16,000 score. Not going to blame my teammates for dying a lot there. They weren't using really optimal characters here. And you are going against basically one of the best characters in the arena right now. So that's fine. But for the most part, we were almost able to actually compete with this Ichigo. He got 19,000 score and we got a 16,000 score. So that's not too bad. All right, so jumping into our next game. This is actually a really good scenario in this case. We're going against three Arankas. Two of them actually being as Spartas. So I guess we get to demonstrate. Mayuri having killer, which is kind of rare. You don't always go against the Spartas, but I guess this season does have a Ronka damage times two, so they are going to be somewhat more common-ish. And in the last year or so, we of course have received some good arena characters like this Halibo, for example, and the Grimjow. But as we do go by, the Asparta meta might start dying down just a bit, especially because arena banners are a thing in the past now. Unless we get a banner focused on more Aspadas, it might be a while before we start seeing new Aspadas show up as arena character at the very least. Now, unfortunately, we are in a situation where we have a team that actually DC'd, but it's fine. We do have an Ichigo on our team. That's always great. And I myself, of course, I'm going to be providing the team with the support. And I myself will be doing a lot of damage too. Now, in their case, the enemy team, if Roker's host, they're fine. But if the Halibo or the Grimjow's host, they are having an absolute nightmare where they might get paralyzed every five seconds. Sucks to be them, not gonna lie. SA3 right there, 29k per hit. That's actually quite mad. The mind we have Frenzy plus two. So we did around 300k damage on that hit. That's quite mad. Again, just farming up these enemies. Might as well my Sobom here. Didn't need to. Grab the boxes though. And I guess one cool thing about my rib, because when we do use our Sobom, let's quickly use it here. Is that it just kind of skips right at his face. It would have been cool if the Sobom automatically skipped after he said Bankai. So with that, we were able to get the easy dub. 
despite being a man down and almost stole again. And we had plus seven. That's not bad. And in that case, actually, we're able to get more score than the Ichigo. I got 19,000. He got 18,000. For our next game, again, kind of going against a similar team here. We have another double set of Esparta, so that's going to be actually really good. I'm going to hope they stay at the top, and then I hold down this bottom area. So, unfortunately, we haven't been able to show it just yet, but so far, from what I've seen from this particular character when it comes to Arena, again, Long Stride kind of hurt him a tad bit, especially as a character that was not designed for Arena, but again, he was given Arena skills. You would have liked to at least have Long Strides. Keep in mind, defensively, this character also has element reversal, so if you are going against him, and you aren't able to kill him, but you do inflict the stars, I mean, well, best believe that's and reflected right back to you. Kit wise, he's easily able to stay at full stamina. Kit wise, I'm not really finding any problems. I'm able to stay from afar, keep it safe, and just do the damage I need to do. It's just many that lack of long stride. Where you know, if I was playing against a more disorganized team, I might spend more time flash stepping around than actually doing damage. And another problem I will say that you will come across with this Mayuri, but then again, we're finding less characters with that particular skill is that he does not go through dodges. If we were hypothetically to go against a 6th anniversary Aizen, I'm going to slow down here, don't need to kill. Maybe I do need to kill. Okay, we didn't, great. If we were hypothetically to go against a 6th anniversary Aizen, we do have to go through that dodge. We don't have read story for dodges. So again, Bruno, for example, if we go against him, it will be quite annoying to use this particular character. So I would have kind of preferred, because he doesn't have those read dodges, because he doesn't have long strider, I would have been nice to be picked up last ditch so we could be more of a tanky character to go against. Jumping into our final game, though, I guess we can actually showcase it here. We have two Aizens and also an Ichigo. We have the worst team, technically. This is actually going to be a tough game. We'll see how it goes. So you can see there, we just used, what, three strong attacks? We didn't kill Aizen. So that's one of the things you will notice when coming across this particular character. And that's going to slow him down just a tad bit. It's not a deal breaker. There's a lot of characters in the game that have to also deal with that dodge. But it is something worth mentioning. But at the same time, a lot of characters you are going to see is this Ichigo because he is the best arena character in the game right now. You're going to see him a lot. At the very least, Mari does do quite well against that particular Ichigo. So it's not the end of the world. Were able to actually win that challenge, that's great. Gonna use my Sobham here, might as well. Didn't need to. <laughs> the issue goes always stealing the kills, fan. And I guess his SA1 is good for actually destroying shields too, because we are gonna come against character with the barrier moves. And I do like his SA3, of course, it being a full screen, but I guess you get to see it a bit more since the arena screen is zoomed out a bit. So you can see that, yeah, we don't really have a problem going against Ichigo. And so far, we haven't died at least once, despite us not having long stride, surprisingly. And that would mainly come down to our strong attack recharge. Since we are arena character, we do come with that extra bit of recharge. 7% to be exact. An extra 7% to be exact. We are absolutely dominating this team. I'm not slouching either, despite them actually being an Aizen on the other team. Despite them being an Aizen, I'm not really slouching that much. And again, I guess with the damage output that you do get, even if the enemies do dodge, you're still going to do a lot of damage. That You only need to kind of hit Aizen once to kill him. In that case, we had plus two. We didn't even have the full stamps. So that's our worst performance stat-wise. Usually, you're going to get like plus three or plus four. At that point, all you have to do is hit the enemy once and they're going to die. Especially when you have frenzy plus two, basically an 80% berserker and also the spiritual pressure boost. In that case, though, we were able to do some respectable damage there. But with that said, lads, that was the video for today, showcasing the brand new Mayuri in Arena. Again, uh, like he's not like a super OP option. He's not as good as Ichigo, and that's not really a bad thing. Ichigo is, for the most part, the best Arena character in the game right now, so it would be a bit ridiculous if every character came out was as good as that. But just do understand, if you are a Mayuri fan and you do want to use him in Arena, for starters, understand you can use him in Arena, and that's a great thing. He is definitely one of the better Arena characters, and can be quite toxic to go against unfortunately we couldn't showcase that today as we didn't find any mayuris but just do understand he has a slight few drawbacks that being he doesn't have long strides and also can't go through any sorry for dodges but that's easily fixed if you go with a good team you don't really need long stride in this current meta as long as you just hold down a certain area of the map and the 50 percent dodge will be quite annoying but with his damage output all you need to do is hit the enemy once and you're going to be fine and at the same time, with the way the arena meta is going, there isn't that many cards out there now that do have dodge. Just from the top of my memory, only 6th Anniversary Aizen and Bruno are the cards that you're most likely going to go against with dodge. A lot of people nowadays are bringing 7th Anniversary Uryu and other cards like Fowers in your Blood War Ichigo, where they don't have dodge and you're going to be able to deal with them quite easily. So Mayuri, pretty great character in arena. Obviously a few slight drawbacks, but that's not really that much of a problem. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you like to think about this Mayuri in arena if you tried him out. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. I'm Thais.